I've got you. But when you walked in the room, one of the most exciting things as a kid yeah. you walked into first for me was the well and uh, well and merchant room, and then now you're playing your junior B here. It's like that. Yeah, it was. It felt like that. It felt like that. Yeah, it really did. And the group was a good bunch of guys. I've got you under my skin. Because the uh, Buffalo Sabres were, and Wallen was, was affiliated, eh? Yes. Exactly. Toronto, number one, Mark LaForest. 1989, um, one of the announcers says it was one of the top two goaltenders going at it, you and Sean Burke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something some, like that. Some good memories yeah. about that. Yeah, well, before I got <laughs> before I got on the internet, I, I told everybody I'd beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on YouTube, and... Uh, Look out, the goalies are going to go at it. LaForest and Burke are going to square off. I can never remember witnessing two goaltenders go at it like this. Teams that really don't want to play against the Welland team. Because I remember coming and watching those games. <laughs> and it was tough. You guys were a tough group. Well, the a lot of that goes to, uh, in minor hockey, and to a gentleman uh, and coach who we love and cherish was Murray Burkholder. Yeah. And he brought that disciplined hockey to, to our group. And when our group came to Junior B, uh, basically half that team was a rookie team but you wouldn't know it by the way they played I tried so not to give in I said to myself this affair will never go so well that team too I guess you guys went all the way the one year didn't you yeah the one year I played junior B in Welland uh, Foss was the captain yeah. I was the little 16 year old kid you were the junior I was the little kid, and he took me under his wing, and uh, we actually won the, I don't know what it was called back then, the Golden Jort, uh, Golden Horseshoe Junior B, and for me, it was uh, it was awesome. I mean, 3,000 people coming out to the games to watch us play. It was it was amazing. It was it was like playing in the NHL to me. It felt like that. Yeah, it was awesome. Comes in the night and repeats and yells in my. So we talked a bit about you were the Sabres and the Merchants, right? And uh, they were junior 18 with Sabres back then. It's like quality players coming to that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Richie Hansen, who, like I said, went on to play for the Islanders. Uh, Dave Walters went to the Eastern League. I think he might have won the scoring title in the Eastern League that year. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, there was some good hockey Before players. Before I give in, because I've got you. Under my skin. When I was an assistant, our first uh, uh, dabble to the NHL was a, a gentleman called Christoph Olawa, who ended up getting drafted right out of here in Welland Junior B to the New Jersey Devils. Right. And uh, that was pretty exciting for us as a group. And then uh, the following year, we ended up having uh, Jamie Tardiff, uh, Danny Paye, Dan Girardi. Uh, Cal Clutterbuck was towards the end of my career, and we also had uh, Ray Emery, Paul Bissonnette. Paul Bissonnette was uh, it was a midget or it was a Bantam minor player who uh, was affiliated, and at the end, their team went to Ontario, and we needed him so bad here in the junior end of it, but we couldn't use him because he was still playing for the All Ontario. So that one there kind of bit us. We probably should have kept him, but it, it, didn't, it, yeah, it didn't work out that time. Uh, you know, uh, Welland and the fans and the people I ran into through minor or through minor hockey and hockey itself have uh, been awesome to myself and my family. The opportunity to play Junior B and, uh, and it turned out. You know, a lot of the memories that I have playing pro hockey kind of blurry, Junior B stands out more to me.